what up guys, how you doing? It is Zarsi here. Welcome to a new extra video, which is basically me doing my final La Liga Tots Guaranteed Player. I've not actually put one up on the channel this week because I've been away uh, doing stuff with EA, which has been amazing, but it's, mean, it's meant that I haven't been able to actually make these guaranteed Tots packs, which is actually one of my most like favourite things to do on the game right now. Uh, so this is the one which has probably expired by the time you're watching this um so i'll quickly get that in there and then this one is still out until tomorrow night i'm going to be doing two guaranteed tots players today one will be a rest of the world tots which could be lozano which would be pretty amazing because i'm very interested to use him uh, and then la liga tots is obviously i mean there are the chances of packing suarez messi ronaldo uh, or some very very average players so uh, or, or ones that don't have a huge value so it's sort of like you either go big and get lucky or you sort of regret doing it so um that's what I'm going to do today, and if you guys do enjoy, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, I would greatly appreciate it, uh, and don't forget, we'll have a brand new Tots coming on Friday, which I'm greatly excited for, uh, hopefully it's Bundesliga, if it's Bundesliga, then uh, I get to enjoy some players that I really, uh, well, I just, I like Bundesliga players, so uh, I, I know that I'll get fully stuck on into that, so... Which one should we do first? Well, I mean, I'll just I'll just complete the SVCs first and then I'll open them both at the end. But this is what I'm going for for the La Liga Santander Tots player. Um, so you need exactly one team of the season player, which is obvious. This is what's been happening the whole time. Um, and you do need an 84 rated squad with a minimum of two players from La Liga. So I feel like these are a little bit more expensive than they used to be, uh, considering like... Premier League one was an 83 and there were so many expensive players in the Prem uh, that it seemed like it was well worth it compared to some of the, the like the requirements that we're getting now um my club is a bit of a mismatch just because like I I have been doing a lot of the premium upgrade packs and therefore like I I, I don't have everything in my club anymore i don't have a super stack club and when i do these a couple of times a week i realize oh yeah i'm actually missing quite a lot of 84s and stuff that i need to put into these so maybe i'll just go on the market and buy them all back up for future videos uh, but this is what i'm going to go with so two la liga players to top uh, to tick off that requirement are just these two right here not the highest rated ones but they're what i have in the club um Team of the season player, I'm going to use Matos, which is uh, someone I bought for 53k. I'd be interested, actually. I reckon they're about 70. Are they 70? Well, 65. Okay, no, no, no. They've literally come right back down. That's really good. It means that the price of something like this can be a bit cheaper, which is great. Uh, and, if, and if it's because the hype of this Tots isn't that amazing, then it might not be a bad shout to pick them up now. Because, you know could be useful down the line for a better tots next week or whatever you know so that would be good uh, and then as you can see i've just filled it out with premier league players like some of the players i'm pretty sure like cahill is untradeable uh bernardo silver like untradeable there's a fair few untradeable players in here that i got in the premier league premium upgrade packs that i just haven't used in sbcs yet so obviously that feels kind of free so that brings the price down for me as well uh i'm not doing this i mean you need 70 chem i've probably got loyalty on nearly all of these so you wouldn't have full chem if you were to put like a, a premier league striker up here instead of uh adder is like i think beforehand i had morata but obviously like He's too high rated, really, because you can get away with an 84. Um, that would be your way around if you're, you know. But I think this one should be expired by the time you're watching it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and complete it. And then we'll move on to the rest of the world. I feel like I'm actually, like, a little bit more excited for the rest of the world one. Just for the, the thought of Lozano. Obviously, that tots keeps getting better and better. Uh, so it's very interesting to see, like who the players are going to be each week and like they're actually starting to get super usable and stuff rest of the world 29 to 21 so we've got two more weeks worth of these rest of the worlds after this one uh, and i'm uh, guessing they're going to be super high rated and probably a little bit more expensive to do than this um and i feel like the reason why some of those rest of the world tots players have come down in price like the ones from last week <coughs> excuse me i think i'm getting ill um is because you don't need to use like a tots you just need to use like a a team of the week player um, although I think you never needed anything like that in the previous weeks. You just needed like an 83 or an 84 rated squad. Obviously, as the price of these, uh, or as the, as the rarity of these TOTS players are becoming higher, the ratings are becoming higher, they need to increase the requirements somewhat. And that's understandable, right? 
So for this one, I've gone like Serie A at the back, just using some players. There's a couple 85s in here. Uh, and the reason you have to do that with an 84 rated squad sometimes is because like, unless I was to use an 85 plus uh, team of the week player, which I haven't, I've just used this 84. Uh, that's something that I'm curious about. These were right rock bottom at like 12K a little while ago. Uh, and they still sort of are. That's, that's mad. So uh, these... For the requirements, I imagine they're still pretty cheap to actually do the overall SBC. It's the 85 rated players and stuff that you guys are going to have to uh, spend quite big on. I mean, he looks as though he's he's still pretty much 14, 15k. Uh, so that could be a bit of an issue. Like 85s might be relatively expensive, but I'm sure you guys can figure out a way around it. So um, I won't bore you with this one anymore. Let's just go ahead and submit it <clears throat> and we can get on into our two packs. Now, the ideal scenario for me would be to get 99 Ronaldo and then Lozano. Um, in reality, uh, I am not gonna get that. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna get. Let me let me call it right now. I don't know who the, all the rest of the world players are, but I'm gonna get a duplicate untradeable Busquets in this one, which is gonna really annoy me. Um, and then I'm gonna get wh whoever the worst uh, rest of the world player is. Someone that's not super usable. Uh, I'm going to call it right now. But I'm actually going to go for the La Liga Tots player first. Just because I feel like with a bigger player pool, there's more chance of me getting something worse. I'm actually more excited about the rest of the world. But if we can get Ronaldo or Messi or Suarez in here... That would be insane. So guys, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Like I said, let's 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 smash the thumbs up for a little bit extra luck here. La Liga Tots player. Boom. Let's do it. Who are we going to get? I want to see, like, I don't want to see, oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to let it roll out. Who are we going to get? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Spanish, goalkeeper. Man, that's not great. That's really not that amazing. 92 rated Adam is, is, is definitely not someone that I'm super buzzing to get. Uh, he looks good and all that. Don't get me wrong, but I, I reckon he's probably under 100k, like, quite considerably under 100k and with that said like it's it's probably still value for money but it's not one that you're you're not excited beforehand to be like oh i really want to get that 92 rated goalie but at least it's not a duplicate so i mean i'll take him there's no way for me to like actually check how much he is on the market because he's untradeable uh but i'll store him in the club and and that one that's that, really. Uh, let's go for the rest of the world play now, then. If I see the Mexican flag, I'm going to be so happy. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Boom. Come on. At least give me the good rest of the world one. That would be amazing. Who are we going to get, then? Who are we going to get? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what is that? Who is that? Oh, that's going to be Farfan, who actually looks really good, to be fair. Like, I'll take that. Farfan looks very good. Now, is he in the Russian League? Is that badge in the Russian League? Oh, I'm terrible with the flags and stuff. Uh, but 90 pace, 90 dribbling, and 90 passing. With 92 shooting and 86 physical. <coughs> yeah, it's a shame that he doesn't have four-star skills like he used to on Fuck. But... Dude, that's that's actually a pretty damn good pull. Uh, I'll take that. I'm actually quite interested to take a little look at his in games right now and see how he's how he's actually doing, like how usable he is. Because I know that we're going to check this out, and he's going to have three star, three star. That's not the end of the world, especially when you got stats like this. Uh, I can still roulette. I can still like drag back. I can ball roll, and and those are probably some of the more like useful stats that you can get. Or do with a player on this game at this point in time um, but it's when we move on into these in-game stats so pace category 88 acceleration 90 sprint speed that's absolutely fine whatever I mean I don't know yet what chemistry style I would put on him um, but I'll figure it out as we go through these stats shooting 92 yeah, all of that looks super well-rounded. Like, the ones you want to see lower are penalties and volleys. Yeah, he's got great penalties, uh, but the volleys is a little bit lower, meaning that he's got really good long shot. Shot power is basically perfection. Finishing's great. I mean, I could see myself wanting to boost the acceleration a little bit uh, and, and the finishing a tiny bit as well. And normally the attack positioning goes up when that happens. Don't need to do anything with that passing right there. I would use this guy as an out-and-out striker so he's got good enough passing there i mean he'd be great at cam as well oh was he russian league by the way yes he is russian league um i think there's another good russian league striker in 
this like batch of rest of the world players. So maybe I'll put them up together, do a squad around them, something like that. Dribbling. Agility is good. Balance is a bit low. Uh, that's actually probably going to be a bit of an issue. Um, but reactions. Ball control, dribbling. They're both amazing. 93 composure. This guy's got way more composure than, <coughs> than the player of the year, Salah. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? And then physical stats. Stamina is really low for a team of the season player. That will be an issue for us. Um, but still, kind of usable. Jumping is really good. Uh, strength is amazing. Aggression is good as well. Like that, That's a pretty good player. Um, I'm interested, actually, also. I want to see who the other Russian League striker is. I can't remember who it is. But there'll be someone high. I'd, I'll go on the market rather than concept squads. If I go special striker from the Russian League... Where is he? Russian League. Uh, and then if I put like a minimum price of like 60k, who are we getting pop up? Oh, Cochrane. Cochrane is the guy. Uh, wow, he actually looks amazing. He's three star, three star as well. But 93 pays, 91 dribbling, 89 shooting. Oh, I could try and link these guys up. Yeah, I could really try and link them two up together. That would be good. And Farfan, by the way, is currently selling for literally that 50 or 60k. Um, that's... That's not amazing value, but I'll always keep him <coughs> just because his stats look really good and I want to use him anyway. Uh, but guys, that is going to be the, the, the rest of the video. That is our two guaranteed TOTS players. If you have enjoyed, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to sub if you're new around here. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.